Welcome back, this is Yama Jack, and today we've got Gunslinger Suicidal Farmhouse. Don't really like Farmhouse, um, but as you saw in the previous episode, I didn't get to make this decision. I left it up to the RNG, and Farmhouse is what it chose. So I know it's not really the greatest of maps. It's kind of one of the worst of maps, actually. But it's 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 a map and you know what sometimes you need the bad maps to you know like like somebody says you need to nothing nothing what how does the quote go from what was it brave new world um how does the quote go so, something like you need to pay you need to find something you can pay for with tears or something, and then nothing, nothing costs enough. I can't remember how the quote goes, okay? Screw it. We're Googling it. Uh, brave New World. Tears, nothing costs enough. What you need is something with tears for a change. Nothing costs around. Nothing costs enough around here, okay? Something, something, something. The perfect world kind of sucks, because without sadness, you can never know how happy you are. And without despair, without hatred, without all the other things that Farmhouse represents, we can never know how beautiful Evacuation Point really is. Okay, that's that's how it goes. You know? That's how it goes. Okay, I, uh, the, the bit's over, I can't think of the next bit. Can't think of the next bit. Oh, I missed it. I had a dream last night. I had a dream where my cat died. Oh, it was a weird dream though, dude. So it didn't start out as my cat. It started out as the Cheshire cat or whatever the heck it's called. I can't pronounce it. From uh, Alice in Wonderland. Not really. It started out as Garfield. <laughs> Cheshire? I don't know what the thing is, dude. Um, started as Garfield and some dude, we were infiltrating a place. It was kind of like a continuation of a dream that I had fairly recently. I talked about how we were like in a weird warehouse thingy and I don't know. Um, and uh, we were like investigating this like steam fortress thing. Not, not, not the one in Killing Floor 2. It was a different thing, but kind of similar. Um, and we end up. It was like a game or something. Anyway, we end up going through this place, and then stuff hits the fan, and uh, the cat dies or is like injured, and then like me, the person who's with it, is also injured. Except I'm a different person who's now going in and investigating to find this place or something like that. It's like my friend now, or something. So I end up finding it, and then once I find it, it's my cat that's lying there, like, dying on the ground. And then my cat is, like, uh, it was a very sad moment for me when I woke up. I'm like, I have to go see my cat now. <laughs> so I went and sat with my cat for a bit today with, uh, well, not really my cat, but it's our cat. It's my sister's cat mostly, but um, I pet it. <laughs> I, I spend time with the somebody's got to spend time with the cat when uh, everybody else is at work, right? Otherwise, the cat gets lonely. And that somebody is me. I don't feed the cat or take any of the responsibilities for the cat, though, because I didn't agree with getting the cat in the first place. Um, because I didn't want to take on any of the responsibilities. But if we're gonna have the cat, I'll happily take on the responsibility of um, providing it with attention. I don't want to. I don't want to like scoop up poop and stuff, though. You know, it's not my kind of. Not my kind. I want to worry about sicknesses. I don't want to worry about paying bills and stuff. Like that's not. That's not the kind of stuff that I was prepared for at the time. So I. 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 I, I distanced myself from the responsibility from the beginning. Um, but anyway, I had a dream. My cat died. So I woke up and I was like, well, I have to go and. I have to go see her. I have to go spend some time with her. So I sat with her for uh, a bit on the couch today and watch some TV. It was a normal day. That's what 
that's what I normally do. But this time I felt a little bit. Um, I don't know. It was just—it was, just, was a sad moment when uh, when the cat died in my dream. Break time's over. You know, I've I've said I like sad dreams more than I like happy dreams before, uh, and I I agree with that. It doesn't mean I necessarily like the sad dreams. I what I like are dreams where I wake up feeling pleasant, you know, feeling happy. Dreams where I just wake up feeling good about myself, you know. I don't like dreams where I'm, like, having, like, the best of times. Let it explode on me. I don't care. I want to explode all these guys because it would be sick. And it was. Um, and I made sure to stand on this thing, so it was, like, a little bit of a, you know? Anyway. Um, I don't like the dreams where I'm, like, super happy and, like, my life is perfect. And I'd never want to change anything, and then I wake up, and I'm like, oh yeah, no, like, life kind of, life kind of sucks in comparison to paradise. Um, that, 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 not so into that. Um, <laughs> also, not so into dreams where I'm, like, waking up and, and not able to tell the difference. If, like, do I really have a dead cat on my hands now? Uh, am I actually, like, homeless? You know, I wake up and I can't tell, like, the difference from reality, you know? Those dreams, also not good. The perfect dream for me is one that I... And we're talking dreams that I remember. Honestly, the best night of sleep that I can get is one where I don't remember the dream, but I wake up and it, I just, I feel, like, pleased. That's, that's the perfect night. No dream, just waking up and feeling good about yourself. Doesn't happen too often, but uh, when it does, it's good stuff, dude. It's good stuff. However, we're talking about dreams here, okay? So what's what's the best kind of dream? What's the perfect kind of dream? The perfect kind of dream for me is a dream where it's nonsensical, and obviously nonsensical. I've had a dream where, um, okay, I guess we'll give you some examples, okay? So I've had a dream where. Um, an old friend of mine, well not an old friend, actually current friend of mine, still friends, um, was, uh, like some weird overlord of, like, some alternate dimension thing, and he was, like, riding this giant dragon castle thing or whatever. That was a fun dream. You know, I woke up and I was like, the heck, you know? That was a good dream, you know? Not sad, not happy. No, no, no real thing to compare there. It was just, uh, all in all, like, a, a pretty fun dream. You know, you wake up and you're like, yeah, that's not real life. There's no way that could ever be real life. It's obviously clearly distinct from real life. Um, it's, you know. Um, and then we have dreams where... You know, my cat dies. Now that's bullet time. And then I wake up and I'm like, is my cat really dead? And I have to go like check on my cat and be like, are you breathing? Mm, I think I think I see some breathing. Um, you know, like those ones. Um, and then we'll also have dreams where, like, um, you know, insert current guy that I like. I'm, I'm interested in a relationship with that that doesn't want to be in a relationship with me um, and uh, you know I'll, I'll have a dream and and uh, and this isn't about anybody in particular um, but uh, just like you know current current person I'm interested in you know again I don't know why but sometimes I see those coming in slow motion and I'm like I have to get hit by it um, you know, insert current guy that I'm interested in a relationship with, and uh, in the dream, I'm in a relationship with him, you know? And it's like a normal day. You know, we're going to normal people's houses, doing normal people things. There's no real difference between, there, there's no like, you know, floating cows or anything. It's just the only difference between real life and, and the dream that I can remember anyway when I wake up 
is uh, is that I'm in a relationship with this guy that I want to be in a relationship with, right? Um, so then I wake up and I'm like, am I single or not? Because <laughs> I'm like, I'm pretty sure I'm single, but at the same time, am I? Because I don't, I don't know, you know, like maybe I went to bed in my dream or something, then I wake up not in my dream. Hey, and then uh, yeah, it's just uh, a mess, you know. Stop it! Um, no. Um, so yeah, that's that's just that's like another example of a dream. That's one that actually happens. Um, not too often, but like consistently. You know, like if I'm if I if I you know find a guy that I'm interested in or whatever, I will probably have a similar dream to that <laughs> at some point in my uh, while I'm interested in him. You know, it's it's, it's consistently a problem. Um, not necessarily the same guy like over and over again, but definitely um, when like at the start of me being like, "Wow, this guy's pretty cool. I kind of like him. Maybe we could. Uh, I'll, I'll have a dream about it." And then I'd be like, "Wow, did that really happen? Is, that, is this actually like what? Is this reality or is this not reality?" Then I can't tell. You know, and that's 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 the kind of dream that uh, that I hate the most. Is, uh, is when it's like super super happy and it's just like you know like literally like a dream come true not that like I literally dream of, I mean I do but like you know like like those kinds of dreams where it's it's like a wish fulfilled and then I wake up and I can't tell if it's if it was a real thing that happened or not and I'm like kind of talking to the person or, or looking at my cat or you know, going outside, looking at my car, or, you know, kind of like looking at my phone to see if I have like a schedule at work or something, and and being like, is it real or is it not? And I have to like check. You know, I can't, uh, I can't actually know if it's reality or not. Maybe you know, I'm I'm getting into some stuff here that that maybe some psychologists, some therapists, some counselors or whatever out there are probably like, yo, you should probably like come talk to me. <laughs> probably right um but yeah i don't know it's just uh those are the dreams that i hate the most is when it's it's just like so pleasant and so happy and then you wake up and and you can't you for like it doesn't take long you know like it literally takes like a minute at most to be like yeah that was a dream right like that was that was a dream i i was i was dreaming that that's not real right like typically I don't actually have to go out to my car to look at it to know if I like got a new car or something, but like, you know, I uh, you 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 have to kind of think about it for a moment and be like, was it a dream? Was it reality? I I don't know. And then you know, a few moments later, I guess I guess I guess you kind of like finish waking up and you're like, yeah, that was a dream. And uh, for me, anyway, that that moments. After you wake up, because there, there, there's a. If you haven't had a dream where you can't tell if it was a dream or not, there's a moment after you wake up. It's like five seconds, ten seconds maybe, where you don't realize it's a dream. Where you wake up and you still think that what's happening in the dream is is real life. Where you wake up and and you think that uh, that that is a situation that you're actually in. That that's actually something that you're. Like having to deal with that, that that you have that you that you that you know that that's your life, right? And it only lasts for like five seconds, maybe ten seconds at the max, before you start questioning it. Before you're like, I don't really remember that happening though. It kind of feels like it was just a dream. And then you got like thirty seconds of being like, was it a dream? I'm pretty sure it was, right? You got like 30 seconds of kind of questioning that, and then you're like, yeah, like it just doesn't make any sense for that to happen. That just, it doesn't make any sense at all. Like I have, I have no memory of like, 
you know, the beginning of our relationship. I have no memory of, like, how the cat died. I have no memory of, you know, whatever, right? Like, there's, there's no memory leading up to it. It's just the memory of it happening, you know? And uh, you're like, I just... There's, there's no way that's real. You know, like, you'd have, you'd have more memories about it. Right? And, uh... Or, or something will start to stick out to you, like... Yeah. No, my cat definitely isn't Garfield's. It's not the Cheshire cat. Yeah. Um, you know? And then, like, you know, after a minute after you wake up, you're like, yeah, it was just a dream. But you had those... Those first five seconds where you weren't even questioning it. That this was just, yes, this was the way that your life is. And those five seconds of feeling like that are like bliss, you know? Or, or terrifying if, uh, if you're having a bad dream and you can't tell the difference. But uh, I don't typically have that. Typically. Sometimes I do, but typically not. Um, those five seconds of feeling like that are just bliss, you know? Because you... you, you I guess the way that it kind of goes is you have those five seconds of, of feeling like that's really real and it kind of extends to, to like match up with your whole dream. You know what I mean? So you have that, that, that like positive feeling and then the, the quick realization afterwards that none of it was real and then you're just like, oh, well, that kind of sucks. You know, and it's just like your life isn't really worse for it, but but you just you feel like your life just got so much worse because um, your reality just comes like crashing down. It's it's a weird feeling. If you've never had it before, it's like so hard to explain. But it's like such a gut wrenching feeling when you have such a pleasant dream, and then you wake up and you can't tell um, what it is, whether it was real or not. Um, like you can't tell, right? Whether it was real or not. And then you realize that it wasn't real, and and it's just it, it it's such a it, it really does just like it's it's such a gut wrenching feeling. And the flip side is if you have like a terrifying dream that's just like horrible, right? And you have a similar kind of thing where you wake up and you're like, I literally can't tell whether this is real or not. See ya! Um, and you have the similar kind of thing. You have like five to ten seconds of like panic. Of just despair. Of like just panic. You know? Of fear. And then uh, you get that minute of clarity. And that, that contrast kind of makes you feel so much better than you really makes you feel so much better about your life than your life really is and uh, that's why I'll oftentimes say that I prefer bad dreams to good dreams because when you have those dreams where you can't tell the difference between dream and reality for like just a brief moment after you wake up when you have those dreams when you have a bad dream and you can't tell the difference and then you realize that it was just a dream you feel relief you feel like good about it you know you're like thank god that was just a dream you know when you have a good dream and then you can't tell the difference you know you don't get relief you get like mild depression for like 10 minutes <laughs> you know you get you, you you're not like thank god that wasn't a dream you're like oh it was just a dream huh and uh so that's that's why I'm, I've, I've often said that i prefer bad dreams to good dreams I like the dreams where I wake up and I can just tell that it was a dream immediately, which is like most of them, to be clear. It's not like every dream I have is one where I wake up and I'm like, huh. No, no, no. Like, typically when I wake up, I'm able to be like, yeah, no, that was a dream. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't think I'm actually somebody that can teleport between bunkers. Yeah, I'm, I'm a human being, right? Yeah. Um... So that's, that's like a typical dream for me is, is when I know it. And those ones I like when it's it's just like a fun kind of pleasing dream. Because I wake up and I don't feel that moment of thinking it was real, you know. And then have that contrast afterwards of, of feeling like it's not real. Which is, it isn't. Because it's a dream. But uh, I definitely like the more neutral dreams the most. But if I have to pick between a bad dream or a good dream... It, it, and it's going to be like, you know, I can't tell the difference between reality and dream for a few moments. Definitely the bad dream. You know? I wake up with a bad dream, 
and I feel bad for like five seconds and then really good for the rest of the day. Wake up with a good dream and I feel good for like five seconds and then really bad for the rest of the day. So the exception to that is like nightmares. I have uh, I have called in sick to work once because of a nightmare. Um, I don't get them too often, but uh, I have had it happen once where I woke up just completely messed up by the stream. It was like 3 a.m. or whatever, 2 a.m., 3 a.m. maybe, not important. And I woke up like screaming, shaking flailing, you know, um, and I was like messed up for the day, so I called my work and I was like, there's no way I'm coming into work today, because it was like 3 a.m. or whatever, I couldn't get back to sleep because there was no way I was going back to sleep, like I was like messed up, dude, and then, uh, yeah, I uh, called sick, didn't go into work, couldn't fall back to sleep. Uh, just like panicked, I was, I was like shivering with fear. Those dreams, it's definitely a bad dream. Definitely not a dream that I like. Sometimes they just, it like gets in your psyche, you know? Like it gets in your brain and then you're just like, done. <laughs> Again, that one doesn't happen often. I don't have dreams that really affect me much when I wake up, typically. Like a normal dream, again, is... is one that I just remember, and I'm like, what the heck was that? Like, some non-Euclidean kind of garbage, right? But, uh, on occasion, not often, but on occasion, something more happens, and uh, I either like it or I don't. Thankfully, I don't have nightmares, night terrors, or whatever too much, but... That one time when I did, and I woke up, like, literally screaming. I don't remember what the nightmare was about, like, it, it's gone now. I've, I've, like, yeeted it from my brain, right? But, uh, I know, I know that she can jump on this, I'm using it to protect me right here for this. Okay? Um, I know that she can jump on it, though. This is okay. Um, at one time when I did wake up from it, and I was, I was shivering and screaming, like, it messes you up, dude. It makes you think of sleep in like a different way, right? Because like, you never, you never think of dreams as being something that you're gonna call in sick over, but like it can be. And uh, like that whole day after I woke up from that, it was just like, it was a rough day, to be honest with you. It was not a fun day. Like the whole day, I was, I don't know, what, like I, I still can't remember what it was about, but I just, I felt this like deeply ingrained fear of, of just like, anything that uh yeah messed me up man it messed me up real bad that day and then the next day i slept again and everything was fine I'm gone but but that day was just i couldn't handle anything man a lot of crying a lot of shivering not not an experience i would want to have happen again nightmares night terrors whatever don't not a good thing <laughs> not a good thing definitely not um, thankfully I don't get them often. Can I know that I know some people who get them like all the time. I'm like, I fully understand why you have depression. Totally get it. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, that's gonna do it for today. Thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you liked it. Subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.